Police authorities and private companies in many countries around the world have implemented the use of autonomous flying drones to limit their exposure to potentially infected individuals and of course to prevent the further spread of coronavirus. Watch. Good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here and welcome back again to my channel. So, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and push the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. So, with that being said, here we go with my video. Number 1 is Coronavirus Detecting Drones Cutting-edge robots and drones are being used in many countries around the world to fight coronavirus disease. From taking temperature to preparing meals and sanitizing surfaces where the virus may live. And now, a Connecticut town has become a ground for testing a new kind of high-tech drone-based surveillance system. Number 2 is Daytona Beach Police using drones with intercoms. The Daytona Beach Police Department is now equipped with two more drones to add to its six. But the loner drones police are using to enforce closures and other social distancing measures during the coronavirus pandemic are equipped with intercoms. Number 3 is Disinfecting Drones Used in India Unmanned aerial vehicles commonly known as drones are fast proving to be a necessary tool for frontline government agencies in fighting against the coronavirus pandemic in India. Officials in India are using drones carrying disinfectants in an effort to disinfect slums and crowded market areas inaccessible for vehicles. This is meant to keep virus cases from surging. Number 4 is Drones for Contactless Deliveries Amid COVID-19 The novel coronavirus has changed the way we do almost everything. In the wake of COVID-19 pandemic, much of the global airline industry has been frozen and fleets grounded. With supply chains around the world being cut off, organizations have needed to innovate their supply chain strategies in order to reach remote locations. As a result, the use of autonomous flying drone technologies has accelerated in a humanitarian effort to beat the crisis.
The idea of contactless deliveries is ushering in a new era for drones and their use amid efforts to slow the spread of COVID-19. Number 5 is the use of drones to enforce lockdown. Amid the coronavirus crisis in France, authorities are turning to drones to warn the population and enforce confinement measures. Police in France have already deployed drones to accompany police and serve as warning loudspeakers to enforce the coronavirus lockdown. Number 6 is U.S. police agencies use drones in coronavirus response. Two West Michigan police agencies have a new tool in the toolbox when it comes to responding to the COVID-19 pandemic. The utilization of drones, sometimes referred to as unmanned aerial vehicles, is becoming increasingly common by police departments and law enforcement agencies throughout the United States. Number 7 is Drone Delivery Companies Becoming Popular Amid COVID-19 Outbreak Drones are taking to the skies in unprecedented numbers during the COVID-19 pandemic to deliver essential goods and medicines to communities under lockdown. With the COVID-19 outbreak, drone delivery companies seem to be heroes during this time of pandemic. Number 8 is Drones being used to deliver COVID-19 supplies to hospitals. Residents of Huntersville, North Carolina might notice drones flying above the city. That's because Novant Health, in partnership with Zipline, has begun using drones to help deliver life-saving PPE to its hospitals during the coronavirus pandemic. Here is how that could potentially shape the future of healthcare. And that concludes this video for today. So, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.